ASCRS 2025 showcased cutting-edge advancements in eye care, spotlighting technologies poised to redefine clinical practice. At the event's bustling exhibition, we had the opportunity to explore the potential of CorneaGen's latest innovation, Corneal Tissue Addition for Keratoplasty, or CTAC, for advanced and precise treatment of keratoconus. Treating keratoconus is probably the hardest eye condition that I treat in my clinic. And it's because everyone has a unique um, deformity to their eye. Up until CTAC, the approach to correcting someone's vision has been centered around intacts, the different cares segments, scleral lenses, and then if all else fails, a corneal transplant, equally as unpredictable as keratoconus management. The thing that's so exciting about CTAC is the customization and repeatability of results where other technology in the past has failed. So CTAC stands for Corneal Tissue Addition Keratoplasty. And what's different about this tool as opposed to other um, types of corneal segments is that the arc length, the thickness, and the width of the tissue can be customized to the patient. And the tissue is actually should be thought of as a as an anterior lamellar keratoplasty instead of a segment, because there's no other tool that can reshape the cornea like CTAC can. It never, it was a drop in the bucket for a lot of patients in terms of correcting their corneal shape and getting them to where they can actually function with glasses. By adding corneal tissue there, you can actually get some great functional vision return. Best uh, corrected visual acuity of three lines, corrected of up to six lines, for the inventors and their clinical trial. So bringing back vision as well as treating the cup. I had a patient that had post-refractive ectasia from LASIK 10 years ago, and she had failed scleral lenses and was unable to see better than 2400 with glasses correction. We did CTAC surgery on her and within four weeks was able to see 2030 with a new pair of glasses. So I've only been doing this for the past four months, but the surgery is in my opinion, uh, easier than intacts, and it's just as quick. Many cornea surgeons, if not all, could easily adopt this without going through, you know, rigorous, extensive training. With a two-year shelf life, the CTAC, you know, you, you can delay a patient's case if need be, and not worrying about sacrificing the gift of, from the donor. We had to delay a patient recently uh, about three weeks and her tissue will still remain this, as viable as what it was three weeks ago. The great thing about CTAC is while you can still use uh, the tissue for uh, a DMET procedure for endothelial keratoplasty, you can still use the remaining stroma for, for CTAC. So really, you know, multiple uh, people being helped by that generous uh, donation that was given by that family at that tough time. I have told everyone at CorneaGen and many other cornea surgeons that this has been uh, the missing link with keratoconus management, unquestionably less invasive and provides significantly better outcomes than traditional transplant. It's really exciting to be a part of this journey right now with Cornea Gen. By maximizing donated cornea usage, CTAC expands treatment access for patients, addressing keratoconus challenges while offering tailored surgical solutions. As market adoption grows, CTAC continues to advance keratoconus care offering a new level of precision and innovation in corneal treatment. To learn more about CTAC and how it can benefit your patients, visit corneagen.com or contact their team at sps at corneagen.com.